Hey everybody, welcome back to All About The Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Actually, it is my birthday month. It would be awesome if you could help me get to 400 subscribers. That would be an awesome birthday present. And let's go ahead and get on with today's video. We are talking about Netflix's The Mitchells versus The Machines. <laughs> The Mitchells vs. The Machines is a rated PG. It's an hour and 53 minutes long. It was released on Netflix on April the 30th. It was actually released in theaters the week prior. I believe that's the 23rd. Don't quote me. I know I should have it, but it's on Netflix now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just say the animation in this movie is, it is beautiful. I love it. It looks like everything was just hand drawn. Honestly, oh, I still have my glasses on. Sorry about the ring light situation. As I was watching the movie, like straight off the bat, I was just like, this is giving me Pepper and vibes. Do you ever remember that? Some of you might be too young to remember. Pepper and Pepper and much could be something. That was an awesome show, you guys. That one, and it also gave me like Lizzie McGuire vibe. I think some of you may know who that is over Pepper and. It has just great character design. The colors on here are very, very vibrant. It's beautiful. We have a cute little dog here, Doug the Pug, uh, Monchi. I believe that's who the Monchi character is based off of the internet dog. <gasps> Super cute is here throughout the whole movie. The dog is put in like some kind of immediate danger towards the end part of the movie. I will kind of spoil that, but like it's like danger, but like not really danger, but it was dangerous. It is too long though. It is too long. We're, we're almost hitting that two hour mark, which is a long movie for an animated movie. The beginning part of it though is a little bit, it's a little bit too slow. I feel like we could have done without it, but at the same time, I'm glad we had it because we're actually getting that kind of character development, which is very rare to get these days. You know, everybody's just kind of going straight into it. And I love that we're kind of getting the backstory about who they are individually as people and their differences and just kind of bonding with this family. And I also love that there's like no mellow dramatic moments in the movie. There's no like, oh my God, dad, I hate you. No, oh my God, shut up, shut up, shut up to the little brother. Or like the little brother, like, look at me, look at me. Like, you know, those are really annoying kind of deals that we get when it's like a family and we have siblings. No, we have none of that. And then we get to the chaos of the movie which is this robot invasion and it's just so funny because throughout the movie which is part of the trailer I promise you they will never ever turn in we also get a really really fun uh, cameo from Furby and yes yes the scene is as creepy as you may only imagine it to be uh, again some of you might be too young and not even know what a freaking Furby is but they're freaking little weird Monitos and like their eyes move and they're creepy and I may have had one when I was little. I really don't recall if I did, but they're like really creepy. And I also like the whole concept of the humans depending on the internet, depending on your devices. Funny moment when just watch what happens when I turn off the Wi-Fi and then just the chaos that just breaks after that um that was one of my favorite scenes another one of my favorite scenes is just when um the mom which is voiced by maya rudolph right straight when she goes into mama bear mode when she's trying to protect her little baby cub just from what happened she goes for like it was awesome it was awesome. I laughed so hard throughout the movie and on a lot of parts. I didn't laugh throughout the whole entire deal because there are, of course, some jokes that really don't hit. And before I do give you my score, which you probably already know what it's going to be, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. So, The Mitchells versus The Machines. Even though I went into this movie knowing nothing about, I am glad that I watched it. It is one of my favorite animated movies of 2021. Depending on how things keep going, you know, we could be an Oscar contender for best um, animated feature as of right now, May 2021. I am claiming 
it. My first prediction for the 2022 um, award season. I can definitely see this, you know, possibly. We'll just see what we're gonna what we're gonna get later on within the time. And we still got Luca, which I'm very very excited about. It's something that the kids and parents can watch together and just really enjoy. There's something I think for everybody. So with all that said, I am gonna go ahead and give the Mitchells versus the Machines. A large popcorn. Let me know down below what did you guys think of the Mitchell versus the Machines? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? That is it for me for today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.